often find myself lying in bed watching YouTube videos about losing weight, getting fit, or making some life changes to accomplish some of my big dreams. Whether that's getting healthier, making more money, learning a new life skill, or simply using my phone to, well, call friends and family to catch up instead of uh, mindlessly scrolling through TikTok. And why are we scrolling through TikTok when we promised ourselves that we would make an effort this week? Well, probably because we're tired. And nobody wants to have that conversation where they admit to their friends that that gym membership they bought last week is, well, mm, collecting dust. <laughs> if you're like most of us, there is probably a gap between who you are and who you would like to be. There are the little things you know you should do and then there are those really big things that you know that you need to achieve. Oh, like getting that cholesterol down after the results of that last blood test. And even videos just like this one may get you excited about making some changes in your life. You might think that tomorrow or maybe Monday is the right day to start. But it is always hard to start any new change or challenge in your life. And often it feels too hard and it can sometimes feel like that you have to become a completely different person. You know, someone consistent, disciplined, full of willpower. Someone who could be like, I don't know, a 20 year old influencer that lives at home. No offense, I know you guys work hard. Maybe you need to become someone who doesn't have a full-time job, an hour commute to work every day, and spends most weekends running around being a mum or dad's taxi, or putting together one of those last minute paper mache volcanoes. And maybe despite your crazy life, you have tried to be that consistent, disciplined person. And for a while, it worked out. But then life, as it does, starts to get in the way and you find yourself falling back into those old habits. It's just one day you say to yourself, I'll start all over again tomorrow. But what usually happens in the end, despite all your good intentions, you seem to fail. And each failed attempt leaves you feeling more frustrated and more disappointed than ever before. You start to wonder, why do I even bother? And time ticks away and you don't get back on the horse and eventually you just give up. And if you listen to every success or motivational speaker or size 4 gym junkie on the internet, they are going to tell you the same thing. It's all your fault. You didn't succeed because you didn't want it enough. You didn't try hard enough. You didn't put in the effort. This failure is all on you. I'm here to shake things up a little bit and put a new perspective on why you may not be reaching some of these goals that you feel like you put so much effort into. When it comes to making changes in your life, it really is important to understand that change is hard. It's actually really hard. And understanding why things are so hard, especially as an adult, might make the process a little bit easier for you. It's all about the well-beaten path. Imagine your brain is a dense, lush field of grass. Let's say you're on one side and what you want, let's say a beautiful beach on a hot summer's day, is on the other side. Getting to that refreshing water is like making a decision to do something. It's like moving through that tall grass. Your brain hears those crashing waves and it wants to get there via the easiest route but it sees a jungle of tall grass blocking its path and it knows getting to the goal, it knows it's going to be hard and energy consuming. And spoiler alert, your brain does not like using energy. How does it cope with the millions of decisions it needs to make every day without consuming too much energy? Well, what it does, it stomps out on those well-trodden pathways on all of your actions and behaviors. As humans we love familiarity and efficiency. Why do something the hard way if we don't have to? Now let's get back to our trip to the beach. As you start something new, you trample down that long untouched grass, making a rough trail towards your goal. 
And the more you do this, the more pronounced that trail is going to become. And the easier it is to follow. And eventually that becomes a well-known path that you use all the time. As you repeat this action over and over again for days, months or even years, that once difficult path becomes familiar and a comfortable path to your goal. Once our body becomes comfortable with an action, it becomes a habit, which then becomes part of your routine. It should be noted that around 43% of what we do every day is simply out of habit. So how does making something routine change our life and give us a real chance at success? A routine is a sequence of actions that you carry out the same way each time because they have proven to work. For example, you buy the same ingredients and prepare your favorite meal in the same way because you know what? You know it's going to come out well and you enjoy it. So you do the same recipe every time. You could also be like me and like to set the alarm 10 to 20 minutes before you need to wake up because you like to hit that snooze button. Think of routines as your organized friend, your forward thinking planner. This organized friend knows how to think ahead, considers what you want to achieve and the result that you want. And then based on that, chooses to achieve the correct outcomes even if they are somewhat uncomfortable. This could be, for example, like making your lunch and laying out your clothes the night before, even though you are so tired, but you do this as part of your routine because you know, like me, you're not a morning person. And it is best to have that routine of getting those kind of tasks out the way the night before. If you're doing things all the time, every day, or every week at the same time, this becomes routine and routines are what become habits. These routines or habits become easier because they are a sequence of actions that are carried out without really having to think about them. You've done them so many times that your brain just thinks, oh, this is easy, this is normal. Often it becomes something that you do on autopilot. You don't have to convince yourself to do something that's a habit. You just do it. Another thing to understand about habits is that they are often set off via triggers. Context cues that could be single things, entire situations that signal your brain to start a particular behavior or action. You already have so many triggers in your life. For example, you might go to a party or an event and there's nibblies on the table and you reach in and grab some chips and dip, even though you're not hungry. Or maybe at night time when you see the sun starting to set, you pop on your pajamas, you check all the windows, you pop the cat out because you do that every day as part of your nighttime routine. And it is simply habit. You probably don't think about it much. Some habits can be good and some habits can be bad. Habits can sometimes be like an impulsive inner child. They respond to what is familiar or what they see around them. They look for instant gratification and often looking for the easiest route without really thinking about consequences or long-term goals. And when it comes to bad habits, the future doesn't really exist because bad habits are linked to not caring and hating hard work. When your brain notices a trigger, it steers you down the easiest road, leading you to a well-known and rewarding result. It could be something as simple as every morning when you order your coffee, you buy a cookie too, even though you've just had breakfast an hour ago. This rewarding feeling is also how most bad habits start. I'll have a piece of cake if offered at a party, just because I don't want to seem rude. You know what? I'm so busy. I've got such a big night tonight. I'm just going to pick up takeaway. It'll be easier. It'll keep the whole family on track. <sighs> you know what? I am so tired and so busy. I'm not exercising today. One day won't hurt. I will do that tomorrow. I just need to rest. I am super busy after all. And this is simply why it is so easy to form and continue to repeat bad habits and not make the new ones that we need to make. 
And this is why we repeat these actions, even if we know they're not good for us. Rewarding feelings, I mean, they feel good, right? They often relieve stress. And these comfortable, familiar feelings are often associated with an action. So they demand to be repeated. And so a bad habit is born. If you really want to make a change in your life, then it's not really about having huge amounts of motivation and discipline. It's really about forming new habits. And this really is the secret to success. In our daily busy lives, we want to reduce the amount of stress and energy our brain uses to complete simple tasks. Focus on small things, not big things. So if you want to change and introduce a new behavior into your life, improving your life little by little is so much better and so much more achievable than aiming high, changing nothing and racking up another failure. We often want quick and easy results and instant gratification. That's what we've become used to in our modern lives. But this rarely works. You should begin by understanding that small changes can have huge and long lasting results over time, over days, weeks, months and years. Try not to be so hard on yourself. Baby steps will get you there. If you want to make that change easier, the best way to go forward is not to force it with willpower, but to start working on that first trail. Let's say you want to work out and get fitter, which is a very common goal and one of mine. The first thing to do is to break down this vague goal into clear separate actions because the idea is to make the action as simple as possible, manageable and so specific that you don't have to think about it a real lot. You just do it. For example, a tangible action might be that every time that you boil the kettle or you pop something in the microwave, you do 10 push-ups on the kitchen bench. This is something that I do as part of my daily habit. Maybe you'll start walking 10 minutes every day on your lunch break. Maybe you'll start taking a bottle of water everywhere, which is something that I do. I love my water, I'm a big fan of that. Or maybe try one of those old tricks where you pop a red sticker on the fridge, one on your laptop and one on your bathroom mirror. And every time you look at that red sticker, you suck that belly button in. Do the vacuum. Shrink that waistline. <laughs> Another option may be that if you normally sit down and flick through social media for half an hour each day, maybe you might allocate the first five minutes to looking up some information about a hobby that you've been interested in getting into for a while. If you do this every time, it will become a habit. Also, when you're starting these new habits and new routines, be on the lookout for those bad habit triggers. For example, instead of ordering that cookie that you always order with your morning coffee, how about you pack some hand cream in your handbag and instead of browsing the cake selections, why don't you get out that hand cream and rub it in whilst you're waiting for your coffee. It's going to be good for your skin and it's going to keep those calories down. If you rub that hand cream in every day, it is going to become a habit. Remember that a trigger is nothing more than a signal that you associate with an action. For example, buying the morning coffee. They can also be visual pointers like seeing your kettle or a certain time of day. For example, I go for a walk every night before I make dinner. So as soon as I start to see the sun going down, it's a start button in my brain. I am automatically triggered to grab my water bottle and let the family know that it's time for mummy's walk. To establish a home workout habit, like doing push-ups on the bench, start by doing them at the same time under the same circumstances every day. Like as I said, every time you're making a cuppa or you've popped something in the microwave. Once you have your trigger, and your action, then all you have to do is repeat it and repeat it regularly, preferably every single day. And if you keep going, this will change from 
something that's part of your routine to a brand new life-changing habit. Those 10 push-ups on the bench could turn into 20. And the decision to do them will feel much less like a chore and more a part of your normal, regular day. The other trick is to make things pleasurable. A brain loves to be pleasured, it loves to be happy. And yes, whilst this seems simple, it isn't always easy. Many things that you want to turn into habits don't offer as instant gratification as wasting time on TikTok. To make your new action easier and more likely for you to repeat, try to make it more pleasurable. Try to only listen to your favorite podcast when you're working out or on your walk. Or use your walk as a time to call a friend or a family member you haven't caught up with for a while and just have a general gas bag. Or do my favorite thing. I like to get on my YouTube playlist and blast my music as loud as I can. And I can repeat my favorite song three times if I want to because it's only me. Making something a habit to guarantee a success is frustratingly simple and worth doing if it is going to make your life better. Now, how long it takes to establish a new habit varies widely. Whilst they say that the average person takes around 21 days, for some it could take 10 times longer. It really depends on the type of behavior that you are trying to get used to and the type of person that you are. Other things like your daily commitments and all sorts of other lifestyle factors could also impact how long it takes to change or establish a new habit. You won't know how long it's going to take you. The important thing is, is to start. And starting is the easy part, especially within that first week or two. But I promise you, it does get easier day by day if you keep going. And sometimes being accountable for changes in your life can make things easier and for you to more likely do them. Having a friend or a community to keep you accountable can motivate you to keep going, which is why I started this channel and I'm working to build this community because I often need a little bit of a push and being accountable to you guys and my friends and family can sometimes often be enough to push me over in the right direction. So if you would like to be part of an encouraging community, then please consider subscribing to this channel and dropping by regularly to update us with your progress. To be honest, there are no silver bullets for change, but the science of habits lets us know that it is possible, no matter how old or how young you are. And even if you don't reach your main goal, and you only end up doing a little bit more good stuff or a few new things. This is still success. And every step of success builds into the big picture. Being a little bit more healthier and knowledgeable is a million times better than being unhappy and changing nothing. In the end, change is a direction. It is not a destination. Let me know in the comments what is the biggest habit that you want to change or begin. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you soon.